guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another review of insecure this is season four episode number five and this is called low-key moving on so the episode starts off with Issa sitting on her bed and it's like 3 24 in the morning or 3 25 whatever but it's like in the middle of the night and she can't sleep like you know thinking back to the last episode you know her artist pulled out like she really doesn't know what to do condola is not responding to her so she's kind of just you know struggling like she's worried so she gets up makes her a little quesadilla a little ghetto quesadilla which was cooked in the microwave <laughs> um she's scrolling on instagram and she sees that um nathan is online so she does call i mean she messages nathan basically asked like what you doing up and he's like I can't sleep and she says me either and he was like you want to talk so she calls him he does mention he's like you know I'm here at the house alone because Andrew is over at your homegirl's house and she basically says like like that I don't even feel like that's my homegirl no more um and boom we are at the scene from when the season started when she's like I don't even F with Molly no more so she was talking to Nathan when she says this which is like we've been waiting for this moment <laughs> um so this this is now the day of the block party so it switches to Andrew and Molly and it's like every time it gets to Molly like the energy shift like she we need some sage she got to go every time it gets to molly it's just like she just it's like a bad like bad vibes like sis go away so anyway she pulls out her her she's pulling out clothes um to prepare for the block party basically she starts complaining that like she doesn't want to go basically basically being salt bay and um Andrew says, well, let's not go. And she's like, well, what do you mean let's not go? Like, that's my friend. I have to go. So every week is the same thing with Molly. Like, is she your friend or is she not? Like, make up your mind. Like, you're so stuck on she's doing better or she's, like, starting to get to a place where she's doing things on her own and being more mature. And you can't handle it. Like, you really can't handle it. It's just a shame so we are like so it's like 17 minutes into the event um she has an assistant or an intern um and she's really goofy she has an intern that is helping her she looks over and she sees condola baby she and her from condola ain't condola condola's like oh she's like i you know i didn't know if you were gonna come she's like i didn't know if i were gonna come either and she's like you know it's just couldn't like dead ass confused and she's like oh you don't know about lawrence and she's like yeah we broke up this goes back to what i said in the last video like sis don't mess with my coins don't mess with my name because you and lawrence have broken up like i don't think that's fair and so um it made things really awkward so then that goes back to say like can you be friends with your ex's new girlfriend or boyfriend because of things like this like or can you mix business with your past i don't know it condola is wrong for that like condola is just like oh i just came by to stop to see about the sponsors i believe and she did provide Issa with interns so i guess like she um pulled back but still made sure that Issa did have some support so then we have kelly over here at the like they called it a step and repeat being her she's apparently been taking pictures for the past 45 minutes hasn't allowed anyone else to take pictures so then she calls tiffany and Issa over to take pictures and um she said we're gonna take a happy sexy in jail pose picture so they did the happy the sexy and jail pose baby i said i don't care how successful you get i don't care how 
up in the chain you get, baby, you're going to always hit that jail post with your homegirls and your friends, okay? Because that's just what we do. Code switching at its finest. So throughout this episode, Tiffany says like little slick things about the baby. So I'm wondering if she is suffering from postpartum depression because during this scene, she says, you know, sometimes I wish I could just leave her in the grocery store. And, um... And it, and it's kind of blown over. Like nobody actually addresses it. And then, um, you know, Kelly gives Issa her props. Like, you know, how goofy Kelly is. But Kelly, as a friend, was like, I'm so proud of you. Like you made your vision come true. And then she starts to use this British accent. And Issa's like deeply confused. And Kelly's like, Oh, I'm talking to this new guy, Darnell, and he thinks I'm from Britain. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny to me. And this girl is really acting like she's from Britain the whole episode until the end. Um, so uh, the intern comes to Issa and um, says that the press wants to talk to Issa. So, you know, Issa is excited like, hey, y'all, I'm about to go to the press, so I'll be back. She's doing the interview. It looks like a legit, like, it's going to be on the news. And Issa asked her, like, when will I see, um, where can I watch this? And she was like, oh, on my YouTube channel. And I, I want to say Issa was like, hey, well, how long have you done that? And she was like, I haven't even started it yet. I just, baby, she came though. She had a full set. Like, sis is ready for her YouTube channel, okay? But that was funny because sis looked like she was from Fox 5, okay? So then it jumps back to Kelly and Tiffany. And then again, I, like I said, Tiffany is having these um, moments where it's kind of like, sis, you said some crazy things. So during this, she says um she's drinking and kelly's like aren't you breastfeeding and she's like no um she wasn't latching but you know it's her loss and kelly was like sister are you okay are you okay because she's just saying like things that kind of make you worry and so um i hope it doesn't go ignored so hopefully as the um season progresses through these last few episodes we can see um tiffany get some help uh, Molly shows up and again it's awkward AF because Molly is so negative Nancy. And then it jumps back to Issa going Issa's brother going up to Kelly, you know, trying to get her to break this Britain accent, like asking her all these questions. But baby, sis is holding on. Sus is committing to this character, okay? And they start talking about government. Old dude said there are only two branches of government. And I don't even remember what the first thing he said, but he said something about Bank of America. Sir, there's three. And, um, but you know, that's a lot of people in America that don't know the three branches of the government. Drop down below if you know the three branches of the government and their duties. And if you can, I'm going to give away, I'm going to cash out somebody $5.00. Zeller cash out somebody $5 if you can drop down below in the comments and tell me the three branches of the government and what their duty is. Go. Because y'all be making me mad on Twitter because a lot of people don't know. And he was dead ass serious. Like, two branches of... Okay. So, um, Derek gets a call from the nanny. The baby isn't happy. Um, I'm, this probably is the first time that they're away from the baby. So... You know, he asked Tiffany, like, hey, you ready to go? And Tiffany's like, you know, I'm not ready to go. And so he ends up leaving. And, you know, they all say he's a good dad. And he seems like he is a good dad. Like, he he's very attentive to her needs. So then it jumps back to Andrew and Molly just kind of chilling out, talking. And he says, this is a good event. And Molly can't even say, like, yes, this is a good event. Like, 
like she can't even utter the word so at that moment like i'm so done with her i want her and Issa to go ahead and hang this up like you and he says you know well this is a pretty big event maybe that is why y'all haven't been as close because this this took a lot but she just couldn't be proud for Issa. So Nathan shows up with his pretty self. He is so handsome in those eyes. He look like he can ruin lives. Um, but he shows up, you know, Issa's kind of down because she's like, there's nothing but white people here. And, um, you know, they kind of joke about it. Like you can tell that everybody is genuinely proud of Issa that's in her circle, except for Molly. And this kind of made me think about, like, Issa can't sit in her, in her accomplishments. And I mirrored that, like, that's kind of something I deal with is, like, I can't sit in what I've done well. I'm always looking for what's next. And I'm sure that's a lot of people. And it's just like, I'm sitting here like, sis, I'm so proud of you. You went from We Got Y'all to hosting your own blog party, like, you had a vision and you made it happen like sit in it like you're dope like this is dope and i'm just like mm, pop meets kettle because i can never sit in what i've done and what i've accomplished molly walks up with some wings and you know it's like hey girl i figured you haven't ate yet so i had some extra ring wings do you want them during that the intern comes up and says hey vin staples is here um in the VIP area, come talk to him. So again, Issa had to walk away. And of course, Molly felt some type of way because it's not about her. Like she's hosting this whole last event. She don't have time to just stand by you and eat wings. Like this is not the time to do that. Like I, it's a good gesture, but you can't be salty about it. So, oh my God, so all the black people start coming in. I just got so excited. Like all the black people started coming in and they, they start doing the wobble. Baby, if they would have had hit their swag surf, y'all could have just hung this up because I would have been too happy. Like, that was such a moment. Issa, that was the first time Issa has let go. Like, you can see her let loose and enjoy the moment. And then her and Molly kind of shared a moment when they were wobbling. Like, it was so cute. Not her and Molly, but the fact that everybody was wobbling and it was like everybody was there. When they called Issa to the stage and um, she was going to introduce Vince Staples. And she was trying to explain her vision, but they were like, no, Vince, Vince, Vince. So she stops and she brings Vince Staples out and um, he puts on his show because that's who everybody came to see. And I was sitting here wondering, how did she give Vince Staples um a, a big time artist because molly said that she wasn't gonna help her but ooh. so as um uh, molly and andrew are walking um he mentions you know uh, uh no the guy comes like i guess his assistant vince staples assistant comes over and asks andrew if he wants to come talk or something like that catch up and Andrew mentions that Nathan, you know, that he helped get Vince Staples for Issa through Nathan. Oh, baby, you would have thought that Andrew shot Molly in her big toe. Molly proceeds to walk her, walk her behind over to Issa in the middle of Issa's event and cause a scene. Issa should have dragged her. Like, Issa should have shifted that damn bob. Because, first of all, again, when somebody is messing with your name and somebody is messing with your event, and this is your first event, and you're supposed to be my best friend, fuck all the other shit. You, like, this wasn't the time nor the place. Like, you, ugh. So, let me get back to this. So, Molly goes to question her, like, didn't I tell you, you know, n not to um involve andrew and i set boundaries and Issa was like when i needed you the most and i needed you to do this small thing you created a fake ass rule and she's like i like creating your boundaries like no sis you didn't you wanted me to fail like and she's like Issa, you always need small ass things and 
y'all it it exploded like you know Issa was telling her like molly you never want to be happy something happened with you and andrew it ain't on me it's on you because you are unhappy they're going back and forth on like in the middle of this event and so like they getting face to face molly's like get your i mean Issa's like get your hands out of my face and somebody, because you know, this is what black people love to do, says, oh, she got a gun. She got a gun. But before that, Molly is like, I was just wobbling with your shady ass. How can you go behind my back? Like, you said you didn't want to be included. So I ain't mad at Issa. Issa had to get some help. Like, Issa had a whole event, like, in a day or two and you couldn't help her drop friends like molly like when you see those red signs drop friends like molly because molly only wants her only wants the the light to be on her she don't want to shine light on her friend baby so after they say she got a gun kelly takes off and like let's go and the dude is like wait what happened to your accent she said nigga i'm from philly <laughs> I died. Like, what? And he was, he just like, all right, he kept running. I don't, comment down below if you think you could forgive Molly. Like, I don't think I could forgive Molly. Like, this was like the big event of my life. This was my livelihood. And you sat here and started with me at my event. That's something we could have had this conversation later. But no, you thought it would be great to do it now because it's not about you. And so you tried to make my event about you. So you better be glad it was at the end. No, I'm not even giving her the benefit of the doubt. Like, she tried it. It was Tiffany and Nathan walking back with Issa. And you could tell, like, it's a mess out there. Tiffany asked um, Issa, like, are you sure you don't want Kelly to take you home? And then Nathan asked if she needs anything. And she's like, no, I'm good. And she stands there. And then it thunders. And then it starts to pour down rain and that was her fear that it was gonna rain um even though it waited to the end of the episode i'm just like so floored with the molly like i knew she was a low down dirty something but i didn't think she was gonna stoop this low and mess up east's event like and also if you made it this far comment down below because my edges don't lay down for too long. And so they starting to like fuzz on up. Comment down below what's a good edge control. Because baby, I use the E-Ben. I use... Comment down below. Because if... Jesus himself is going to have to come down and lay these edges. Because they're dysfunctional. Thank you for watching. Married to Medicine review will be up tomorrow.